Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life. I am just, I cannot wait to be saying welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Like, I am so excited for Island Paradise. It's not even funny. Like, it's really not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to actually, why don't you take Rebel out of her, out of her crib? We're going, like I said in the last part, <clears throat> my throat has been weird. Like I said in the last part, um, we're going to have Carrie teach Sophia, or Rebel, how to talk. And by then, she should be up to or around 30,000 lifetime reward points. Bitch, I told you to take her out and not put her back in. Pick her up and take her out. Leave your freaking tablet alone. Anyways, we're going to... Get the inheritance money and move into a new house. So. Uh, put Rebel down here. And then we're going to have Carrie come teach Rebel how to talk. Oh. Oh, Elliot wanted to play. What did you want to play? Oh, they're going to join in on the school cheer. cheer. Yep. Yippee. Why don't you play... Um, why don't you play, uh, why don't you beat? Adam Birch wants to know if Sophia Cotton would like to go on a date. Hmm, sure. Um, where's your little soccer ball? I, I could have sworn, oh, here it is. Why don't you play soccer with Gary? Keep Gary occupied while Sophia goes to be a, a dirty little whore. Come on. Is that him, like, waiting outside for her? I don't know. I hope not. Gary, did you get... Or what's your name? Clyde? What, what the fuck is this dude named? Adam Birch? Did you get old? Okay, good. He didn't get old that quick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Where are we? Where the fuck... Is... Are we... Are we... Are, are we at the gym? I think he's trying to tell Sophia something. I really do. We all know Sophia is beautiful just the way she is, like really. She's seriously one of the most gorgeous Sims I've ever created, I think. Because she's so pretty and she's so cute. And she's so fun and normal and not extra. Okay. And I love her hair. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get to know him a little bit. And through about our new sloppy jalopy that we just bought. Um, and this is about exercise. Like, she knows anything about lifting weights, but hey, maybe he digs that shit. Come on. <clears throat> you better be teaching her how to talk, damn it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna drink something really quick because my throat is being really weird and raspy. <clears throat> Okay, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to enthuse about, is he a nerd? No, we're going to enthuse about comic books and we're going to talk about books and we're going to, uh, let's put him to the ultimate test and mind meld with him. Let's see if the mind melding goes good. Good. If the mind melding goes good, they could be soulmates. You know what I mean? They could be soulmates. He's like, what the fuck is this creepy ass bitch doing? He's like, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> that was too funny. He's like, if you saw the expression on his face, he's like, wait, what the fuck is this bitch doing? Let me know. Um... Let's see, let's ask, what do they say about me? Because we need to, you know, be like, bitch, that's a lie. What do they say? 
Uh, someone has noticed that Kifi God is exactly being faithful in his love. Oh, so now the game is making Sophia out to be a man. That's just lovely. Word is slowly spreading around town that Sophia Cotton is naughty. Of course we're naughty. We're sexy and all the boys love us. Why not? Uh, let's see here. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and flirt with him a little bit here. Let's ask him his sign first, and then we're going to see if he's single, because that would be... I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new... Bitch, stop hitting on my man. Sophia will beat your ass in, like, 2.5 seconds. Um... Oh, God. He's, he, he doesn't like this. We just want to know if you're single or not. Why are you being such a prude? Did he not tell us if he was single? Oh, you fucking cunt. Alright, let's apologize. Does he not accept- You know what, then? Bye! Screw you. You're not our soulmate. We can go be soulmates with someone else. Fucking cunt. Are you done? Did we teach her how to w talk, walk, whatever? Yes, we did. So we're, we almost have enough points. We're 55 or 45 points away from the stupid lifetime reward to get the inheritance so Carrie can get her inheritance. And um, um, we can move into a brand new house and we don't have to worry about not having paint on our walls or in a bathroom. Um, Sophia got bachelor. Sophia, hey, you've got to have a bachelor party before you get married. Of course we do! It's only, fun, like, right, right? Tomorrow is Sunday in the Sim World, so we'll throw a bachelor party then. You know? They'll, be, they'll like, have moved in and everything. Oh, God. He really misses, like, his party days. You can tell. He has all these really cool dance moves that I could never do. I could do that. And I could do that, of course. I don't know about all that. Yeah. See, he's he's awesome. I love Elliot. Okay, are you, bitch, are you done? Oh, God, 25 more points. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to speed this up a little bit here. Speed her up, speed her up, speed her up. Okay. We have 30,000 uh, lifetime reward points. We're going to go to the inheritance. Of course it would. It's always the rebel in movies and television shows that get, like, an inheritance money. And then they, like, turn into this do-gooder. Well, that's not going to happen here with Carrie. Not at all. We're just going to use it to bail ourselves out of jail for... Or pay for all those fines for tagging and whatnot. <laughs> okay, so... What we're going to have Carrie do here is we're going to have... Oopsie. We're going to go to real estate and travel services, and then we're going to move. <laughs> Alright, and we are taking everybody with us. Everybody. We're going to sell all of the furniture, and we're going to move into a house. And the house that I chose for them to move into is right here it's actually right next door to um it's right next door to where samantha lives which is a, you know a drama all on well it's like down the street it's like a house over should i say so yeah i'm pretty sure you know samantha will go on her back samantha will go in her backyard and like try to stalk us and whatnot okay so we're gonna move 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 Gonna pack up everybody. I think. Alrighty. Alrighty. So they're all kind of Oh yes, don't don't forget the cat. Can't forget the cat. What's her name? Heidi. Yeah, name Heidi. Oh god, and they're sloppy jalopy. Everybody can't fit in that damn thing. Oh my god, and have you never heard of car seats? I hope the Sims 4 has, has car seats. Alright, so here we are at their beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. It's raining. I hate that it's raining, but it is raining. 
Um, so I'm going to show you guys what the home looks like on the outside first. It's, again, the houses in, what are the, what's, what's the name of this damn, Aurora Skies, <laughs> are very, very simple, but that's how they're supposed to be. Um, but this is the house. I love the bright red. Love the red. And then this is the backyard right here. Very, very simple, but enough room for, you know, to put a, um, a grill and some, you know, patio furniture and um, a play a play set, you know, playground in the backyard if they ever make enough money. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the inside of the house. We're going to go down to the first floor. This is the kitchen. I took out all of the furniture except the kitchen because I really, really did love the kitchen decor. The decor in this house, um, like, initially was beautiful. Um, I said this in the last part, I think. Whoever seriously decorated the homes in Aurora Skies put a lot of effort into it, and I really appreciate that. They did an amazing job, unlike some of the other store worlds that I've, you know, come across. But look at this is a beautiful beautiful kitchen i felt like i really did not want to you know change anything about this because it's it's so gorgeous i think um i might change the red pattern i'm not sure yet but yeah or maybe i'll make it like a solid red i think that would look kind of cute maybe red in another color i'm not sure but um yeah so that is the kitchen area Here's the hallway. I gotta take away some of these paintings. I did not take away. Here's the one of the the hall the hallways, and this I'm assuming is like a more of a living room, a small small living room um, area. Again, I gotta take away some of the wall decor, and then they have a bathroom back here, uh, which has this really really cute green Hawaiian theme going on, and I kept that because I thought it was cute. Um, going upstairs. Of course, a really big open space hallway. I might use this for like an office area or something. Um, and then here is the master bedroom, um, which I think I'm going to turn into the kids room. The kids room. I did not know that painting was there. That was probably made the house so much more expensive. I think I'm going to turn it into the kids room, you know, one side for the boys, one side for the girls. Um, I don't think this is a master bedroom. I think this is just like a regular room, like a study or something, but... It's the master bedroom in my eyes. I don't know. I got to look at the rest of the house. Anyways, here is um, a bedroom over here. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a study or something. I don't know. But there's one bedroom right here. Um, and then, of course, a bathroom. And then there's another floor, another area upstairs where here's one bedroom, another bedroom, and then a bathroom. Um... It's a beautiful house, isn't it? Like it's, it's really gorgeous. So altogether, there's three ba bedrooms, but um, I think uh, maybe we can keep it three because they're couples. They're couples, yeah. And then the kids can share a room, you know. Like, why do you need your own? Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna. I don't know what we're gonna do with that room yet, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually just. Um, I'm going to decorate it a little bit, not too much, because obviously I don't have a lot of money um, to decorate the room, but I'm going to decorate it a little bit, and I will be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. So this is what I, for, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, I, I kept the kitchen style for the most part, and um, I changed the, the accent color to like an olive green, a dark olive green color. Um, I'm going to take off. There we go. It's just a little easier for you guys to see everything. Um, so this is what the kitchen looks like. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, this thing here, I believe, is from the sensory store, um, in case anybody was wondering. And I just customized it to kind of match, uh, the rest of the kitchen. And this is the pattern that I went with on the chairs and whatnot. Olive green vertical blinds. And then over here, I, I put the little Japanese teppanyaki grill thingy in here. Um, just in case uh, Carrie wanted to entertain some guests or whatnot. And or in case they wanted Japanese food, Chinese food, whatever. So, yes, that's pretty much all I did. Um, for some reason, my ice cream maker is not installed. I don't know why, but it's not. Sorry. 
Um, I, I was going to put it in, but I obviously couldn't find it because it wasn't installed. So that is just the kitchen area. The living area literally has nothing in it but a, a couch I'm probably going to take out. And then a big screen uh, TV. Uh, we're going to go upstairs. Um, here is, over here is, it's this like Spanish themed room. I, I, this is Carrie and Elliot's room. Um, and Carrie allowed Elliot to bring over some of his things with him. Not everything, but just some things to, you know, give him that college experience. Because he is a jock, so. And it actually looks like it could be Elliot right there. The redhead right here. And then there's a redhead down here, too. So I think that's really, really neat and really, really fun. Um, and then again, cluster plants over there, which I love. And I think Ollie's about to start choking. Okay. He always seems to do, do that at, like, the wrong times, like, always. Um, you guys know that little hacking thing that dogs do. Um, anyway, so this is pretty much, uh, and yes, we did take him to the vet for it. But, um, anyways, this is just, uh, Elliot and Carrie's room, and I think it looks really, really nice, and I love the way it turned out. I wanted to put something right here. I was thinking about maybe a massage table or... I don't know, something else, maybe even an easel, but, um, you know, we ran out of money, so I couldn't really put anything there or figure out what to do. Bathroom looks actually the same. I just swapped it, like, as it came with the house. I just swapped out the, the bathtub for that thing in there that came with Seasons. This room is still empty because I don't know what to do with it yet. And then going back up, here is the nursery. I wanted to go with a more simple look. You know, you guys know I love in my nurseries to do really fun theme, like a race car theme or like a race car theme or I don't know, just some sort of fun theme. But uh, I went to go with a little bit more simple kind of vibe to it here. And this is what I use. Uh, some stuff from the Sims 3 store. I have a baby monitor. I forgot to put another baby monitor somewhere in the house, so... I'll probably add that in a little later. Um, but yeah, this is just what the kids' room look like. Just, you know, they're going to age up, but I'm not going to put too much emphasis on the nursery because they're aging up in a couple of days anyway. Um, and then here is, of course, Gary and Sophia's room. We got the, we got to have the gnome mascot because she was the gnome mascot. And, you know, unlike Kiri not letting Elliot keep some of his stuff... Um, yeah, keep some, keep all of his stuff. Sophia's like, Gary, you got a problem with my comic book collection. Move the fuck out. So, Sophia brought all of her stuff with her and her comic books and, um, you know, things like that. Action figures on the little shelves. I love the shelf so, so much. I love it to death. Um, and then, of course, she has her little area over here where they can, where they can game. And then another bathroom. I love that this house has three three full bathrooms. I love it to death. I'm actually going to put in a video game system. Do we have anything in the inventory? No, we don't. I'm going to put in a video game system. Um, let's put in this fancy, pantsy one right here. There we go. So she can play video games. Because that's what that area is for. And obviously, we, we ran out of money. So I really didn't fully decorate the room like I wanted to. Just enough, you know, to where it looks cozy and like it could be a home. So yeah, let's jump right back into the gameplay. And you guys know I changed the season so it's going to be spring instead of winter because I don't like when it snows in University World. It's it's a little bit of annoying. It's a little annoying for me. Um, so uh, Sophia's actually starving. Oh, everyone's sleepy. No, don't go fix anything to eat. Let's, let's have everyone go to bed. And then what we'll do is we'll continue in the morning when we all, uh, when we all wake up. All right? All righty. It is Sunday morning, bright and early. And we want Sophia to kind of throw a bachelorette party. Do we even know any, uh, actually we can't even know. I did buy, spent money on stuff for the cat. That's why we're so poor. So what we're going to do here... We're going to sell a chair just so we can have enough money to rent out the space to throw our bachelor at party. Mm. 
That's so, that's so sim logic. Like, to seriously want to throw a party at a venue that you can't afford? Sell your chairs. Um, let's see here. We're going to throw it at the Blue Lagoon. And we're going to make it exclusive access because we're rich like that. And it's going to be a nice little bachelorette party. Uh, dress to impress. It's going to start at, uh, let's make it start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to invite Mrs. Beaker, Mrs. Clark. Oh, we're, we're inviting Samantha. Um, We're also going to invite Saya. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna invite that Olivia Estella chick. Estella Olivia. What the fuck is her first name? Estella Olivia. Hmm. Okay. No comment. We're gonna invite... Do I even know you? Are any of these people kids, first of all? Okay, they're all good young adults. We're gonna invite... What the fuck are their names? That chick. Um, and... Where is the other girl? Is she? She's an acquaintance, so we're inviting her anyway. And we gotta invite, like, what's her name? Tina Venter. Because she just looks like an old hag. And let's invite the other old hag, too. Flynn Weird Word, whatever her name is. I don't know. Okay, so we invited almost all the girls that we... Except her. She just looks creepy. So, oh, oh, look. They're kind of almost friends. We gotta invite her, too. Okay, so we're full, actually. That's good. We have a full house here. We're gonna invite all these people to our thing at 3 p.m. Alrighty, cool. Sophia, clean up. Carrie, did you shower and whatnot? Yes, you did shower that. Good for you, Carrie. Good for you. Um, why don't you... Wake this chick up, change her diaper, feed her on the floor, and then we're gonna actually kind of, um, shut the fuck up. Wait, where are you? Um, change her diaper, and then feed her on the floor. I'm so glad this plant sim baby, like, does not need too much. Um, Sophie, are you flirting with him? No, you guys are doing the school chair. Um, let's just play with him. Oh, she has to go to work? What the fuck? No, we're not going to work. Wait, let's make sure she's not gonna... Okay. Okay. Uh, Sophia, actually, why don't you do this? Why don't you call in sick to work? Where's work? Wait, why can't you call in sick? No, call in fake sick. To work and yeah just so we can throw our party hurry up before I fucking it's time for you to go in ah, mm, all right hope you oh hope you feel better soon okay cool whatever um let's pick up Lance and we gotta give him a little social interaction before we uh, da -da -da. damn it, I keep using the wrong fucking thumb. Um, snuggle. And then put him in his crib. How is Rubble doing? What are you about to do with Rubble? No, we're not going to put Rubble in the playpen. Just put her in her crib. And, yeah. Oh, God, he's watching the sports channel. Oh, he still needs to, um, analyze sports statistics. Sports statistics. And do that two times. Actually, let's just go ahead and get it done with and do it three times. Alrighty. So the kids are kind of getting put to bed in the middle of the in the middle of the day. Typical sim mothers. Um, let's see here. We're pretty much just waiting on Sophia's party to start. She should start making her. She said she should start making. Yeah, go ahead and clean up the bad food. Oh shit! We gotta go through the party. Where are we? Visit the Blue Lagoon. Visit the Blue Lagoon. Oh, they're getting in the sloppy jalopy. Oh, bitch, we didn't want to fix... Samantha Gray is apparently not interested in fixing this relationship, so she decided to break it off. They're no longer romantic. Bitch, we didn't want to be romantic with you anyways. 
Like, come on. Alrighty, Sophia, let's go ahead and get the drinks going. <gasps> Did she? No, we're not gonna train anybody. Who the fuck is who the fuck is Gary Clyde gonna train? He doesn't even. Why didn't they just call on Elliot? Did this bitch really get in, like, her schoolgirl outfit? Yeah, she kind of did. <laughs> They're so cute. Seriously, generations. That, this, the bachelor party thing, the bachelorette party thing, it came with generations. It's seriously, like, it doesn't add a lot to your game, but it, added, it adds some really fun, cool new, new interactions that I... I adore. I think I do think Generations is like an essential um, expansion pack, and it'll even make the base game seem so much more fun. It really will. It's actually also the first. Um, it's oh 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 god, she got her ass. Oh, Sophia, we all know you can't dance. Carrie, why don't you let loose and stop being such a prude? Go order you the big mistake. I like how everyone's hands are black. Like, everyone's hands are black. Such a terrible glitch. Oh, God. Sophia is, like, getting down over here. Look at her. She's like, she's like, you go, girl. You go. <laughs> She's really into it. Oh my god. I love her. I love her so much. I swear I do. Did you did you get your drink, Carrie? What are you doing? Oh, be rejected. Oh, oh, they're still friends. I bet Samantha was like, you know, it's okay. Oh, oh, party dancers. What's their name? Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn, you get it? Ray Gunn. Harry Chesterman. I don't know what that's trying to say. What the fuck happened to their hair? Is that supposed to be a mullet? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Let's watch the party dancers. Pick a spot in town. Sure, we'll do that. Everybody go watch the party. Sophia, we all know you know how to dance. Oh, look, somebody died here recently. She's like, I want to see the party dancers too. Don't leave me out. <laughs> oh my god, I love how like she has to just go take center stage. Like, come on. Okay. You're gonna put this on speed too. Everybody just has to dance with the party dancers. And he can, come on, Sophia had better mo dance moves than you. They need to get Elliot's ass up here and, like, you know what I mean? Have him get down because these lame-ass party dancers need to be fired. Oh, all he could do was a turn. See, Elliot was, like, moving it, you know? Like, I can do this shit that he's doing. But Elliot is, like, she's, like, yeah, I quit. They suck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sophia, they kind of ruined your little your little shindig here. Go get drunk. Order a drink. Order a big mistake. I just really like the name of that drink. Like it the big mis like big mistake sounds like a drink you don't want to drink when you don't want to cheat on your boyfriend. Elliot is now a sci-fi fan within the nerd social group. Um, a simple, yeah, we can do that. You're gonna pay us, of course. 
What are you over here doing? All right, why don't you come order a drink, order the llama head. It's a pretty drink she has in her hand too. It's green and purple and pink and yellow. And I like it. Did the party dancer stay? Yeah, they're staying. Where's that guy at? Let's go flirt with that guy. Here he is. Um, friendly introduction. She's like going wild for five hours, so we have to really, really go wild. Did we invite you? No. Look at that. So we're going to ask him about his career. We know you're a party dancer, but we're going to see if you got anything else going on for you. Uh, let's see here. Let's. Do we enthuse about the wedding? Enthuse about our new house? Um. Um. Catch anything? What the fuck is he going to do? Really? Screw you, party dancer. You kind of suck anyway. That's why we'd rather have Elliot come do your job. Oh my god, my babies are dying. Look at that. They're having like... Oh. Oh my. Oh. My. Oh my. No comment on what that is. Um, eat a leftover cake slice for dinner. I hate that the birthday cake doesn't give you a moodlet. And it, like, takes forever to spoil. I hate it so much. Um, how many more days? Six days until they age up. I kind of want to age them up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I kind of want to age them up a little bit. Um, because I want them to go to university and I want to, there's so much more with university that we haven't tried out. So what do you guys think? Maybe I should make them children in the next part. Um, after Gary and Sophia get married, let me know in the comments below. And I think I'm actually going to end this part right here. Um, we'll pick up in the next part and hopefully I'll have like a, a, a little wedding, um, community lot, you know, a fun one set up or something. I'll try. I don't know. Um, and we can, they can get married and all that good stuff. All right, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. You will have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. Bye guys.